Christ is coming. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that he who would believe that in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus Christ is coming. He died for our sins. We can be forgiven of all sins. We can turn from sin to Christ. Time is over. We see the things of the Bible happening. We see the earthquakes. We see the disasters. What is reality? Reality is where we must say it's an eternity. This is reality. We can make peace with God today. We can see God today. The Bible said the ways of this city is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. God is righteous. He is holy. And he's calling us to turn from sin and to follow him. We can come to God today. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is no other man under heaven than among men by which we can be saved. We can choose righteousness today. We can call upon him today. When will I say it's an eternity, my friends? When will I say it's an eternity? Many people plan for today, but they're not here today. Today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow is promised to no man. We can choose life today. We can see God today. God's mercy is available today. But His mercy is going to be cut off very soon. We see the things of the Bible happening. That means there's a heaven, that means there's a hell. And if we continue to sin, we will go to hell. Turn to my sin. Jesus Christ. He took the penalty for our sins. Either He will take the penalty for us, or we will take the penalty for ourselves. Mercy is available today. Grace is available today. We can come to God today. We can make peace with God today. I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking about church. I'm talking about a personal relationship with the living God. Where you put Him first in your life. Where you forsake sin. He is telling all who come to Him eternal life. This is the gift of God. Mercy is available today. Tomorrow is promised to no man. Receive that mercy. The ways of the sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Sin leads to hell. We have to turn away from all sin to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ's blood was shed for our sins. We have to turn away from fornication, adultery, lying, stealing, gossiping, slander, jealousy, murder, hatred. We're going to turn back to God. He is merciful to save. This is not religion. This is truth. Make peace with God before it's too late. Judgment is coming upon this earth. Judgment is coming upon this earth. It came upon Haiti. It came upon the pain. When will they say it's from eternity? When will you run to when God shows up and you refuse to obey his word as you in the Holy Bible? Where will you hide? There is no way to hide. Mercy is available today. But mercy is going to be cut off very soon. We can choose to come to God today. See Jesus Christ and ask forgiveness of sin and turn away from sin to follow Christ. He is the only true God. And we turn into the Lord and show how much He loves us. He lays His life down for our sins so that we can have life. If we continue our sin, that will separate us from God for all eternity. But we can choose today to make peace with God. We can call upon His name today. Today is the day of salvation. Mercy is available today. Tomorrow is coming to no man. We can choose life today. Jesus Christ's arms are open. It doesn't matter what you have done. It doesn't matter where you have been. The glory of God is available today. Make peace with God today. Watch the church, you can say. You see the signs of the time, you can prepare today. We see the earthquakes, tsunamis, all in the Bible. We can repent and see God today. So it's too late. About you, sir, you can say, you see the signs of the time, you can prepare today. About you, sir, about you, ma'am, about you, ma'am, may God bless you and bless you. About you, ma'am, Jesus say, you see the signs of the time, you see the earthquakes, you see the tsunamis, you can prepare today, may God bless you, ma'am. About you, ma'am, Jesus say, you see the signs of the time, you can prepare. About you, ma'am, about you, sir, Jesus say, he's coming soon, you can prepare today. Today is the day of salvation, about you, sir. About your man, Jesus saved. It's not about. I'm oh, sorry about him. God bless you. About your sir, Jesus saved. It's the time. It's the time we can prepare today. 
Today is the day of salvation. You can free God today. How about you, sir? Jesus saved you see the signs of the time, the earthquake, the tsunami, the fall in the Bible. You can prepare today. How about you, man? You can say, may God bless you. You see the signs of the time. How about you, man? You can say, you see the signs of the time, you see the earthquake, the tsunami. You can prepare today. How about you, sir? Jesus saved you see the signs of the time, you can prepare today. How about the man who is safe? Who is the time to come? Who is the man who is safe? Who is the time to come? Who is the man who is safe? Who is the time to come? Who is the man who is safe? Who is the time to come? Who is the man who is safe? Who is the time to come? Who is the man who is safe? Who is the time to come? Who is the man who is safe? Who is the time to come? Who is the man who is safe? Who is the time to come? Who is the man who is safe? Who is the time to come? But he calls all people to come to him, to seek him like never before. We see the signs of the time. We see all the earthquakes. We see all the things of the Bible happening. That means heaven is real. That means hell is real. And Jesus Christ is the only Savior. And if you continue in sin, we will go to hell and burn for eternity. This is the truth. This is reality, my son. We have a destination with God. We have an appointment with God. Every single one of us has an appointment with God. What will we say to him? What will we say to him when we stand before him? What will we say to Jesus Christ, the living God, who came into the world and laid his life down for our sins? And he died for our sins so we can be with him, so that we can be connected back to God. What will we say to God if when we stand before him and we tell him that we never had time for him? We never had time to listen to his words. We never had time to seek his words. He said, come to me, all you who are real and heavy laden, and I will give you less. Drugs can not give you less. Drinking can not give you less. Sanitation can not give you less. Homosexuality can not give you less. Only Jesus Christ can give us less. We can choose today. We can choose today to see God. We can choose today to call upon his name while there's still time. Nations will be cut off very soon. Choose life. Choose to come to Jesus. Choose to make peace with God. Choose to love him back, he lays his life down for your sins, so you can be separated from hell. Come to Jesus, make peace with him. His mercy is available today. Come to Jesus, make peace with him. Choose life over death. God loves us. He took the penalty for us. He died for our sins. If we continue in sin, we only have a fearful expectation of judgment and hell. But Jesus Christ took the penalty for our sins. We can make peace with God today. We can call upon Him today. Jesus' arms are open today. The mercy will be cut off very soon. For many people, mercy cut off today. Many people have died today. For many people, mercy was cut off yesterday. For many people died yesterday. We can choose life. If we die on our sin, we will be separated from God and fire forever. We can choose to turn away from sin. We can choose to obey God. We can choose righteousness over sin. God is merciful. All who come to Him, He will never turn away. We can choose today to love Him back. We can choose today to call upon His name. What does it profit a man if He should gain the whole world and lose your soul? You only have one soul. And if that soul continues to sin, God will separate us from His creation and hell. We can choose today to see God. We can choose today to come to God and choose righteousness. His kingdom is a kingdom of righteousness and holiness. There is no other God but Jesus Christ. He is the best shepherd who lays his life down for his creation. There is no other God. He is the king of kings and lord of lords. We can choose today to honor God in our life. We can choose today to seek him with our life. Seek him where he can be found. Call upon him where he is near. Today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow is promised to no man. We might say we have many days. But tomorrow is promised to no man. Many people thought they were meant to see this day, but they are in the land of the dead. And if they have not chosen Jesus Christ, their soul is burning right now. Say God, we are serious. The dreams are happening before our eyes. The Holy Bible is coming to pass. That means heaven and hell is here, and Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. We can choose life today. We can call upon His name today. Where we are saved from eternity. American Idol is not reality. Sports is not reality. Movies is not reality. Where we are saved for eternity. That's reality, my friends. We can choose obedience to God today. 
You can choose to call upon his name today. Forsake sin. Come to Jesus Christ. Repent. Seek him where he can be found. Very bad times are ahead. The kingdom of God is at hand. And judgment is coming upon this world like never before. Make peace with God, my friend. Call upon him. Choose righteousness over sin. Righteousness exalts the nation. We can call upon him today. We can make peace with him today. We can turn away from all sin today. We can choose life today. No sin will enter heaven. Church cannot save you. Religion cannot save you. Jesus Christ is the only one that can save. This can be kind of misleading, because I'm a Christian. It says, if you endure to the end, you shall be saved. But if you confess Jesus Christ in order to save you, you are saved. No, you do it. I mean, you do have to endure, but I mean, you will be saved after you confess him. But it's, it's kind of like telling people, okay, you have to do everything in the world. You've got to pick up your cross and follow me. So if you learn, I could turn back and go back and go back to this thing. If I want to, that is my question. That's true, that is true. But just, it, it's kind of confusing to me. I mean, if I wasn't, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't understand that. You know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of people believe just to say a prayer, I mean, they say it. No, no, no. I mean, you do have to confess him and believe in him and pick up your cross, and you do have to walk. Jesus Christ is coming!